by Cheryl. Time keeps passing somehow. Ice sprinkles. Muppet sprinkles low can be there too. Hi everybody. Well, that took too long, <laughs> but we're here now, so it's fine. Everything is fine. Uh, we had special guests in chat, I believe, from uh, I saw on Facebook, so that's exciting. Uh, if you're just joining us, because everybody is, hi, I'm Cheryl, aka Muppet Aphrodite. Uh, we normally stream on Sundays at 10 a.m. Pacific, but today is very special. It's a very freaking special day. As many of you remember joining me when I started on Twitch many, oh, not many, many months ago, and I had just left Amazon, and I was like, I can't tell you what I was working on, and but uh, but you'll know it when you see it. And we are at that day. The product has come home. Uh, this this is a big deal for me. I don't know if it is for you, but it is for me. And I figured what better to do than to share it with the Muppet Mafia. Uh, so uh, a little bit of background. Oh, 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 thank you for the host prosperous guard. Uh, so um, I'm a user experience designer. And uh, one of my specialties is natural user inter interfaces and interactions. Oh, prosperous guard. Thank you for the 
Please sub. Muppet sprinkles. Why, 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 why? Muppet sprinkles. <laughs> uh, yay! Yes, there's so many things. Thank you, Prosperous Card, so much for four months of resub. Thank you. Uh, so a little bit of background before we get to the big reveal. So, um, we, I, so I've been working, I left Microsoft in 2014 and all I knew about it was they were interested in my background in voice design and that was it. And, um, when I started the company, they told me about, uh, what eventually became the Echo Look. And, uh, there are other details I can't share with you, but, uh, that's the part I can. And hi, hi, everybody. Hi, Pixel Papa. Hi, KP Tibbs, Turtleneck, Krellen, MC, everybody, Big Nugs, everybody, x -Jair. Yes. And No Way is here. So there's some people, and I don't know exactly who their names are in chat. I'm pretty sure No Way is one of the people who have, who also worked on this product. <laughs> uh, but I want to show you guys a couple things first before we do the unboxing. And I've never done multicam here before, so that's this is all experimental, but I wanted to uh, kick over to show you guys this because, uh, hey, uh, someone can, uh, if you're seeing Jackie, re, uh, reload. So, uh, so lots of questions. So what I'm showing you guys here is some of the research I did for the Echo look, which was we had these early devices and uh, so we had these daily photos. So the Echo Look is a fashion photography device. You know what, maybe I'll show you this after we do the onboarding because it'll make more sense then instead of me trying to explain everything. So, yes. So, hi. Yes. Let's just do the thing. I'm Cheryl. I'm a user experience designer. And this, we are about to unbox my baby. I was the f first designer on this project. Uh, there, you know, and it takes more than one designer to make a new hardware project or a new product category. So I am not by any means implying I was the only person on it, but uh, it was just this tiny team of us to start with. And there were so many points at which we thought, or I thought, it's like, oh shit, we're totally going to get canceled. It happens. Oh well. But so here we are today and we have this. Came in the mail today. And you can see it says... Uh, says, uh, once it focuses, focus, damn it, focus. There we go. Echo look, hands-free camera and style assistant. This is like the clueless closet, but small box. Echo look, small box. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to do this. And I, I don't know why the camera is a little bit fuzzy. We'll just maybe give it a little second to... It, like I said, this is this. I've never gone multi cam before, so, and this is an odd angle for it. So I'm gonna take the plastic off, but this is it's new and it's mine and I own it. Ha! It's a thing, it's a physical thing that got made. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so I was in Oslo when I got the email that said I had gotten off of the invitation list, and the people around me were like, You're you're excited about paying for something you made I'm like the fact that I can commit commerce about on something that we worked on is amazing uh, so we've got the the nice matte finish very if you didn't know what was in the box you definitely wouldn't know what's in the box except on the back there's some uh, raised writing here that says what's included a new uh, device from Amazon detachable base power adapter mounting kit wall plate screws and anchors uh, so that's a, th this is a thing. What's in the box? I know. And I heard several people got their invitations this round. So if you are waiting, uh, hopefully you will get it soon. I think this is a really good sign that, that they're ramping up for holiday. And I can't confirm with the bag. I, I don't work for Amazon anymore. Uh, <laughs> you reckon I'm making it a signature edition. I don't have a silver Sharpie. And I'm not waiting any longer, guys. So we're just going to do it. Uh, so it's all sealed, but we're just gonna, we're gonna open the thing and it's a thing. Wait, before I do that though, I have to show you like full, full, I found these when I was going through old papers at my house and, uh, I just want to show you, this is the first picture I drew of what's about to happen. Uh, this is the, the first storyboard I ever worked on, uh, for the product. And it's like, oh, it's an echo look at a box. It doesn't look like that now. It looks something different, but, uh, this is full circle from crappy sharpie on printer paper trying to get a concept out of our head to here it's in a box 
and I own it. Uh, so, yes, let's do it. I'm tearing the little plastic thing off. Ah, it's off, it's open. Uh, oh, there's another one. There's another one on the bottom. Yes, yeah, so that's a thing. Pop that up. Oh, look. It's got the classy echo blue. Fun fact, when we started this process, the echo didn't exist yet. When we started it. By the time we got to this point, the echo existed, but we didn't know if we would be allowed to play in that sandbox, which is why... The storyboards don't make any mention. Those first ones don't make any mention of the Echo. It was like, that was some crazy beta thing that another team was doing. And we knew we probably wanted voice. And so the inside of this thing without the cover looks very similar. You know, yeah, it's a thing. And it's got stuff and things. And so we're going to uh, pull it off. Open it. Yes. Yes. Echo Blue. Oh no, it's exploding peanut brittle snakes. That would be very sad, Jason. It'd be very sad. I wouldn't, you know, the team. So we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. We're gonna put this box over here. This though, this echo blue. When, so several, when, when it finally, we finally get the green light for this, uh, the team was like, hey, we need you to, and now that we've proven that we need voice, uh, we need you to go and talk to all the teams that make Echo stuff and get them to agree to let this be an Echo product. That was my job. So the fact that there's Echo Blue on this thing, it's a lot due to me. I, this is a lot of work over the course of several months to get everybody to agree and say this is okay. This is a... Oh, it's a thing. It's a real thing and it's in a box. It's, the Echo Blue's got all this stuff and it is frustration free packaging. Jack, you guys did a good job. It, this did not, I did not break any of my fingernails or anything opening this. So this is exciting. Uh, you'll note that I chose orange for the interior of the box in these drawings. So uh, the Echo Blue is, is a departure and a good one at that because we're Echo. So much Echo Blue. So this. This, this is the baby. This is my baby. And here's the other crazy thing. And and this is basically identical visually to the development unit I had like in May 2016. That doesn't happen very often, I don't think. I guess I should hold it here instead of in that camera. But um, so it's, yeah, that's this uh, normal. I almost... I'm almost shocked that it bears such sim similarities to what we had uh, so long ago. That's a good sign. That means the, uh, the all the hardware folks are super great at their jobs. Uh, super great at their jobs. So there's, uh, there's this. Put that down for a second. Then there's the... Uh, this, this is the uh, stand-up base. Uh, and... Now you be nice, turtleneck. You be nice. It looks like a pill, uh, like a Dr. Mario pill. And there's lots of other things it could have looked like. This one is good. It's good. So we have our little quick start guide and, and a bonus Alexa quick start guide, which is kind of stuck in the bottom of the box. Yes, yes. And so, um, I don't see, I had a different picture at one point that showed like all the things coming out of the box, but we don't have that. There's a little wall mount if you end up wanting to mount it to a wall, which I may do at some point. Um, optional mounting instructions, but lots of people choose to just kind of stand it up, which we will do in a second. And then there is a special white uh, a white power cable and the adapter, which is a big deal because at the time we were working on it, there were no white Amazon products. So the fact that we were like, we want it to be white. They were like, we don't do that. Thank you for the host demolition. Uh, now, of course, there's a white Echo uh, main, mainline device, but uh, I believe we were the first ones to kind of raise our hands and be like, can we, can we get a different color, please? Uh, so let's see. Uh, the wall mount may be a better way to go to eventually, but for now, like, I, st I still have some decisions about my life and, like, where I want this to live now that I have it forever. 
um, instead of it being a development device. So, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna open plastic on this piece. Yes. Uh, so, it is the look. It's the look, guys. It's it's the real thing. So we took the plastic off. That's interesting. I don't know what this. Oh, it's an extra layer of like protection on on the thing. Okay, so we're gonna pop that in there. So other things that'll be easier to look at before we plug it in. Uh, there is a privacy button on it. Uh, that's right here. And that will shut off both the camera and the microphones if the design hasn't changed since I last worked on it. Uh, turtleneck, I'm not returning it. <laughs> Unless it's defective, in which case it doesn't matter if the plastic's off, because then they'll have to fix it. But Amazon is good about that sort of thing. But hell no, I'm not returning my baby. This is my baby. We made it. I spent two years of my life working on this thing. And I am just so excited <laughs> that it's real. It's real and I've bought it and it's in my house and I have it. Uh, how long did I go? Did I leave? I left in July 2016. Um, so, let's do that. So, uh, privacy button doesn't feel necessary. <laughs> That's a funny thing that you don't feel that way, turtleneck. The internet disagrees with you uh, because many people, because this is a fashion camera, will be installing this near their bedrooms or closets. And so sometimes people just want the extra security of feeling like, yeah, everything is just powered the hell down. And that is, uh, so, th so that's, uh, yes, I have, I've made up my mind. I'm keeping the baby. Yeah, we should totally uh, play Papa Don't Preach. Jason, except then, uh, then I would get copyright strikes on this particular broadcast and we can't have that. So it's a longer cord than most charge cables because we knew that there, there was going to be a variety of places where this might go. And I'm going to caution that this is not where I think it's going to go, but we're trying to do a live stream and so we're going to do the best we can, but it might be a little suboptimal for now, but I wanted to share my excitement with folks. So we have the Echo Look, we have this nice thing and I'm gonna leave this plastic on until I get it positioned in the final place just to save myself a few uh, fingerprints unless it really interferes uh, so uh, gonna plug this in and where am I gonna plug it in for now I have a power outlet back here but that would require disrupting my entire streaming kit so I think we're gonna try down under the desk for now That step is done. It's, it's lighting up, guys. It's alive. <laughs> um, don't know where that voice came from. So now, you know, we're we're at this stage in, in the op uh, in, where I'm I'm setting up the camera, and I need to pair them. I need to pair them. That's what the storyboard tells me. So let us so let us do that. Uh, la, la. So there's an app for that and we're going to open it and I've had it set like I'm so super sad. I've had it installed in my phone forever waiting for this moment when I get the device. Uh, so <laughs> Hello. Oh. She's talking. She's alive. Uh, 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 did all the things so uh this you open up the app and you get the uh sign in you know fancy fancy splash screen and we click sign in with amazon i'm not going to show you guys my login because that i try i love you guys but no um yes that password that just doing my TFA because that's 
important security in this day and age, she does have a speaker. So I would say the audio fidelity on this device is not going to be as good as your top of the line Echo. I remember just like the discussions of what steps we would have to put. Okay, so it's just gonna keep repeating until I tell it not to repeat that anymore. So then there's a, you know, terms and conditions step. Uh, Cause it does, you know, it saves photos to the cloud. You gotta agree to the things and uh, step. So we're connecting the device. Now, I just want to say to my friends who helped work on this product, I am so glad that this is not using the old school Echo. Uh, it, it automatically knew which one of my Wi-Fi networks I wanted to uh, connect to. So that's really good, really good. I just need to remember my Wi-Fi password and we are all set. Very exciting right now. I'm surprised it doesn't know my Wi-Fi password because there's Wi-Fi Vault for Amazon now, but that's fine. Uh, I don't. I will say that I don't. I can't show you because the password is okay. Uh, this switch here, save password to Amazon. I can't actually tell which one is lit, like enabled. I think the dark one is enabled. We're gonna go with that. Connect. I've had several, I think this isn't my firstborn baby. Like, I feel like Disney Friends was my firstborn child because that was also a product I worked on from beginning. Now we're getting an instruction video about taking photos. I actually know how to take photos with this, so I might, but it, they're playing it during completing device setups. So that's clever. Like, while it's busy, it's, it, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, take my first photo, I have a button now. Got, you joke about the password thing with one two three four, but that I have the long story I've talked about with that. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and just take the first photo. Ah ha ha! So she can you can see what the camera sees now, you guys. You can see my my broadcast set. You guys actually never get to see uh, my my broadcast setup. Look at all the Pikachu's. It's super exciting. Super excited. What will the first photo be? <laughs> uh, um, you can see you. I know you guys can see yourselves in chat. I'm like, I don't know which thing I have to move to see you, but yes. Uh, you just, uh, so we need to move the device to a place where I could take a photo. They said shoulder height, and I know that's what we kind of wanted. So maybe I'll just put it there for now. That seems like a reasonable height that doesn't obstruct everything. Um, we're not getting quite full length from that height. Maybe lower? We have several fixed height shelves here, so there's not a lot of flexibility. Oh, tilting. Oh, it has a tilt on it. Uh, side preview pause, zoom. It says side tilting. You guys, it has a ball joint on it. I think, see, you. Rob, Robert, and Jack, you guys, that's good. That's really good. That's really good. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna switch to full, uh, full screen for a second because I don't think we need that view anymore. But we'll show you what the picture is in a second and it'll be great. I can't show you where, okay, that's, that's pretty good. It's full. It's, it's full. So we're gonna do that. But I don't want to take it, can, can I tell it just to, uh, Alexa, take my photo? No, we're in. Did something. It did it with voice. It did it with voice. That's another thing that. Oh my god, my expression is hilarious. That's amazing. <laughs> you guys, this is the best thing ever. I'm so excited. <gasps> There's so many things going on you don't even understand. So, first of all, this happened. 
look at that because I so I didn't know if using voice was gonna work because I was already in uh, what we called uh, live preview mode which is it's showing me the, the feed so I can position it and uh, so it's <laughs> that is a hundred percent the exact the exact right photo to take now uh, so other things that are going on here uh, it's doing we, we it back so there's an IR camera inside it as well and so it does background sort of it tries to blur the background so your outfit pops now because my arm is bl is moving and it's right next to the chair it got it a little wrong and also I might have been moving it because I was like yay uh, but this is actually pretty damn good uh, there I'm so excited <laughs> I have to post it everywhere. First of all, that gets a heart. I liked that shit. Uh, this, um, <laughs> my face is killing me. It's amazing. <laughs> Such a fashion plate I am. This was my first photo live on stream. Now, that's not the word on stream. Punstrink is not on stream with my baby the Echo. But still so proud. Actually, I'm going to say so couture. I'm spelling it wrong. I don't even remember, how do I spell couture? It's been a while since I had to. Is, it, is there an extra U in it? I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. I'm not going to misspell this tweet. C-O-U-T-U-R-E. Couture. Yep, that's how it is. And I will say the production version of design quote baby post that's going to the internet uh the inaugural shot does contain no scarf that's true jason so jason is bringing up the other point i wanted to share with you guys a little backstage um uh the backstage information is that uh <laughs> so as part of the design process i uh you know because we were we so we to collect enough data to help it with that background removal thing you just saw where it's it's doing the thing and it's it's blurring oh there's uh you guys are already liking things on the twitter so it's not working as well anymore but you see how the background is blurred um yeah, I should have, I, I sort of thought ahead and chosen a more fashion forward outfit. At least I have my Star Trek necklace. But uh, I didn't realize the device was coming today. I thought it was going to come tomorrow. That's what it told me in Oslo. But it showed up early. So here we are. It's just as well. I wouldn't have been home tomorrow night. And then I wouldn't have been able to stream. And I wanted to share this with you guys. So, and we're going to go look at the app a little bit more in a second. But yes, I am. Ro oh, Robert, you're there too. You're in chat too. It's, I, congratulations, Jack and Robert in, in chat, because this, we did, and I know you guys had all your ship parties back in May, but this is my ship party right now, because they finally have it, and I'm so excited. <laughs> ah! Uh, but, Ro uh, so, uh, Mr. Zayner and Jack, uh, Robert was one of the other first four people on the project. He was in charge of all the hardware. Uh, fantastic gentleman. Very, very good at his job, as is Jack Way, who is also here. Very, very good at their jobs and such a delight to work with. But so I'm switching over to, I think, this one. Uh, so can I make this not here? No, apparently I can't. I, I want this not here. Turn off, collapse all chat, hide sidebar. Yeah, okay, great. So uh, this once, so we set up a, a little kiosk at work 
at, to start data collection. And since I had this set of photos, I thought, why not post it and see what, what effect it had on my friends and family to see these photos? Because we had this hypothesis, maybe people would share these publicly. And so this is one of the first photos I took with the kiosk. Uh, and this and, and I've made this book selfie book. You can see th the dates are a little wrong in this. This would have been in December 2014, but I started uploading them in 2015. Uh, so this was the uh, Echo Look development team room in Seattle, which was basically just me and one other person for the for like months. <laughs> we were locked in this room and you had several security checks to get there. And that's just what we did. This was the first photo I took at all with any version of the kiosk, which was back in the secret lab back in like god i don't know like november 2014 and there is a scarf in the very first photo and a pikachu which is very appropriate uh yes best room ever jack it had eventually what you couldn't see in that photo was the ikea closet that we had installed to make it look like a closet so we could do demos and immerse people but doesn't like pikachu look great in that photo he does look great in that photo better than me uh, so then you know uh i for this theme continued for a long time scarf Pikachu, Cheryl. This this was a very common way that I tested the device. Uh, they didn't have Pikachu scarves then. This was before Pokemon Go. So all the Pikachu stuff I had then was like super collectible and crazy. Uh, so uh, then, yeah, super stylish me with uh, like posing my, my all, all of, and this actually, it looks like the, we were video conferencing. I bet you this is Robert here in this photo. <laughs> Uh, so that's, uh, that's a thing. And I started, so I started taking these photos every day and I'm like, well, I'll just post them and I'll see what happens. More scarves. I, fun fact, I wore this scarf in Oslo, uh, last week giving a talk about voice design. Uh, so that one's past, uh, mustard. This is in the San Francisco offices. So back here, fun fact is Moffat Field. That's fun. So I kept posting these and I gave no explanation to my friends as to why I had all these photos of myself. They just assumed I was extremely narcissistic. Uh, so that's that's a fun thing that, that happened. Um, <laughs> uh, so then winter and yeah, there's just all these. And this was just in a public hallway. So we had finally installed this, the booth in the, the hallway it was supposed to go in. So this is like a public thoroughfare. And there were a lot of these photos of me holding a phone because the booth was, it was technology. It would go down. It, I was also the system admin on the Seattle side for this thing. So it would go down. I'd be like, Brian, Brian, it's not working. Ubuntu, what do we need to do in Ubuntu to fi figure this out? Um, and, you know, I was very proud of my Totoro shirt. Uh, no, no, KB Tibbs. <laughs> the woman broadcasting herself on the internet on her own Twitch channel is not narcissistic. What are you talking about? Duh. Uh, so, so yeah. Uh, but I, what was interesting about it was that it, it changed. This is how I look when I get off the plane when I had to be at the airport at four in the morning. Yeah. This is, I just got off the plane in San Jose. I'm in dress of like to mourn the Seahawks loss look. But this, this is a, uh, um, the, the, it was became kind of like a journal and I could kind of track my moods which days I was happy and which days I was not happy and since any day with the keyboard was not a happy day uh, any day I wore a dress basically the system would go down also uh, so yeah there were tons of these uh, and like it tra I was able to track my my like travel habits and moods and things. This was a good day. I auditioned. This is the day I auditioned for T Theater Puget Sound and got a mo uh, got an agent out of it, uh, and all that stuff. But uh, that went well. So these, yes. And there were one or two other pictures that that were taken. And I don't have. I don't think I have any with the actual. So this was one of the first photos I took with my development Echo Look back in, in like May 2016, but I couldn't tell anybody that this was momentous there. So I just posted it and was like, this is really different, but nobody knows, nobody knows. Uh, and you could see this is actually on a mainframe day. So this would have been a Wednesday and I would have been heading into the studio afterwards to broadcast at Hyper RPG. Uh, so everything comes back around. I remember other days that were important, like this is the day I went to go interview with the Alexa team. That worked out pretty well because then I ended up working with them. So that was fun. 
uh, hey, here's the shirt I'm wearing right now. That's, you know, things. That's the so reincorporation stuff. But you can see there's a lot of scarves. And my friends were like, what the what is is all this? You know, it's, you know nerd days. Yeah, this really, really professional person. Uh, so that's some of the, the, the predecessor. All this stuff theoretically went into some of the original computer vision machine learning stuff that we did. Uh, so I'm going to switch back to full screen. And we're going to go back to the app. Because we haven't done. Let's close this. Look at our looks. Oh my god, you guys. The photos from beta are in my account. The photos are in my account. All the photos I took. God, Jack and Robert, I cannot believe. And that's what's funny is, so I never deleted the app because I thought, like maybe it would just update so I actually got a notification from the beta app when I took my photo um so this is wow I can't believe all the original photos are in here or at least some of them nope they're all in here ha ah, what or not all of them some of them not the ones for May but for example here's a video I took uh, back in, uh, maybe it will load. Uh, you were asking where Pikachu is. This is a video I took back in, uh, summer of 2016 with one of the dev units. Uh, I don't know if I can really talk about the code name Zawu. That's one issue that's been, maybe Jack and, and Robert can chime in if I'm allowed to disclose, uh, formally. Uh, but you can see, like, so this is some of the early background detection even like two, a year, a year and, and change ago it was working pretty well uh so that's <clears throat> i know i'm sorry i ruined your perception of female fashion krellen but it is the fact that women do wear clothing more than once that makes this device so useful because it was like oh i can go back and and reference things but uh like here's one of my main frame looks when i was like oh how does this look am i ready to go on camera uh uh, be part of the Pika Fest. I always want to be part of Pika Fests. That's factual. Um, here's, yeah, this is like a totally professional work outfit that I wore. Look at that with my giant Pikachu shirt. Uh, there's definitely a theme. Um, that was, fun fact for those of you who've been following me for a long time, that was right before the Pikachu or the Pokemon Trivia Hops episode on uh, on who's he, what's it, on Hyper RPG. So, yeah, I can't believe some of the old photos are in here. That's impressive. And then there's this, which, uh, <laughs> like, the last photo I have in, in the beta set is maybe not the most expertly taken photo. Um, yeah, there's a lot with Pika in. Like, that one, there's intern Pika there. That's, so the, those are all all things. I'm trying to see if there's anything else super notable there, but um, yeah, I don't have very many cool swooshy videos or anything like that, so um, yeah, so that's, so <laughs> did look just bump all of your memories of Hyper out? I don't know. I'm having a lot of, yeah, there's things. So the camera, you can also take videos. So when you look at, so this is the live preview. So now the device, I've opened this, and so now you can see, now we've got Inception going on. And if I switch it over to video, um, it takes little six second videos. So for example, and I don't need to hold the device for this because I have, but I'll use sprinkles for this because why the hell not? Why the hell not? Hi, I don't even know if there's audio on this thing. Hello, chat. Alexa, take a video. Oh, you got the little beep. The chair's in the way, I just realized. We may have to retake that. Let's try that again without the chair in the way. Okay. Yes, do better this time. 
She can do better. I know she can. Alexa, take a video. So much fun. Yeah! Oh, it's fun to hear the sounds that it makes now. Those, we put a lot of thought into those. Uh, Charlie Hoyt and Chris Seifert over at Amazon. Super good. Does this have audio? No. Oh, it does have audio! I didn't know that they were going to have audio. timing on her yeah perfect yes oh my god you guys so you can already see why the voice was important it seems like not a big deal okay i'm gonna stop the replay now otherwise you're gonna hear sprinkles say uh, yeah every five seconds we're just gonna go ahead and favorite that <laughs> It is the reincarnation of Vine. Well, when we started it, Vine still existed. And so six seconds seemed like reasonable. But then when you think about it, so one of the reasons the video exists is because fashion is also about motion. And some days, and a lot of my ladies could back me up on this, with scarves and dresses and skirts, you don't really fully capture how great an outfit makes you feel unless you've got a little motion involved. And so that was what uh, the deal was. Such a great freeze frame there. Such a great freeze frame. But... And so you can also, does they, oh, does it not do that now? Oh, I see. At one point you could just drag anywhere on the photo, but you can you do like <clears throat> scrubbing. And if I was turning around, you could t use this to kind of control which part of the outfit we were looking at. Uh, but it's enough for a twirl. And, and we didn't want this to be a lot of management. And we wanted it to be something that you could do basically mindlessly without thinking about it too much or controlling it or setting it up or anything like that. And so six seconds seemed like a good compromise. And it also keeps the device from overheating. So, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, first things, I'm going to need to change the wake word on this if I keep it anywhere near here. Because I already have an echo that I want to keep in my bedroom. Dave has an echo dot, which he has set up to computers. So this one's going to have to be echo uh, as its wake word. Which uh, we will have so many devices. <sighs> Ah, so the videos are working and then you can like take notes on the stuff and that's cool so those are fun so the videos are working no no it's fine don't turn on again um, so we have two videos so choose your clothing preference oh my god you could share the echo look with another person in your household we fought so hard to get that and it wasn't in the launch but they've already updated it so I can if Dave wants to use this he can do it that's exciting he'll have to remember to say to like change profiles uh, but maybe if we set up voice ID that'll work out but they have this so the other things that shipped with the echo look is the style check so it's cool how they so you scroll you got your little feed and um, <clears throat> so we've got my dorky photo now. And and we, <laughs> I'm not sure if he gets to see what I wear. I think he gets to use it to keep track of his own stuff, which would mostly be blacks most of the time because he works in theater tech. And so blacks are the uniform, just black clothes all over the place. But so you get the date, and it's all nice. Uh, although ironically, Dave, as we were talking about him, just liked my uh, tweet about the photo. But then you can see here, they try to make it easy for me to compare this with something else and get, else and get style check. So that launched and it's basically, you could get uh, in real time sort of consensus advice about which of two outfits looks better. It's not about telling you whether something is fashionable or not. Because, well, and I can't speak for the team that finalized this, but our original thoughts were, we didn't want people to feel bad about themselves. We just wanted the device to, to bring out the best in them if that was possible. And so rather than saying like, that looks like shit, it's like between those two things, that one makes you look better based on a bunch of other people's opinions. And so uh, it's multi-voice tracking is, is a big uh, hurdle for all voice control systems. And we don't have voice printing yet on any devices, Echo, or Google or anyone, anyway. But relative voice print, voice ID, like pitch tracking, that kind of thing, 
is rolling out. Google Assistant already had it, and they just announced it for Alexa. Um, I think it's still mostly Mechanical Turk stylist uh, KB Tibbs, but obviously over time it may get better at doing automated stuff. And there's some tips on like taking good photos, and it's fun to see what typography they chose. So, you know, there are some features that didn't ship that I can't talk to you about because they're not here and I'm not allowed to disclose future product timelines. And that's, uh, you know, one of the things that I think everybody was kind of concerned about when I started talking publicly about the device. I'm like, I get it. I'm not going to talk about things, features we haven't launched yet. But uh, style check skill to work. That's interesting. I'm not sure we're talking about the same thing, uh, Turtleneck. Uh, I think... Because style check is a visual, like it's a submission. You submit two photos. In fact, I could um, submit two photos right now because I have all my back uh, backup photos. Uh, so why don't we try the style check right now with two of my older photos? Um, we can try with let's see some things that uh, some things that are not super unflattering. Let's say. We try this one and we try this one next. Okay, so I put two pictures in from my old history and I'm gonna send them to the service and we're gonna see uh, which one of these works out. And when we first heard about this idea, like, because, you know, we would we'd show the device around. Originally, it was just mainly for the photography and journaling and kind of documentation. Because there's a lot of things going on here. The flash normalizes the color. Uh, the hands-free nature means I could just walk past the device in the morning, say, take a photo, and it just goes to my app, and I don't have to do a lot of manual management. Um, you know, there's, it, it's a reasonably good quality camera. And there's the background removal with the uh, infrared. So there's a lot of things that make it even better than even if you had a really good selfie stick. Uh, okay, so it says we'll get back to you in about a minute. And I would like to turn on notifications because I made this device. And if I can't trust it, what can I trust? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but the, the concept of getting actual style advice seemed super futuristic and expensive. Good news is... Expensive is not really a big deal with Amazon. So sometimes the best idea wins. <clears throat> uh, oh, ask it to tell a joke. That's always a good thing, Rob. Okay. Uh, Alexa, tell a joke. Alexa, tell me a joke. Why is it so hard to be Raphael Nadal? Because he can turn multiple. Did it just tell me a fashion joke, Robert? Did she just, she just learn that? R right now, like, that's really, I want to try that again. Alexa, tell me a joke. She decided not to do it. Alexa, tell me a joke. What's a pirate's favorite exercise? The flag. The, well, the first joke she told me was what, why, is that, uh, I'll have to check in the app to see. Oh, there's other things going on. Oh, Raffi on the doll. Oh, that's tennis. Yes. Uh, so... But one thing I did, and I think it's still in there, is I spent a bunch of time researching different dress codes so that she could, um, she's, she's not listening very well because we have a fan and a PC and she's up above my head and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep my volume down because there's two other Alexa devices with an earshot, um, and the microphone's pretty far away from her. Uh, so there's, I could move the mic, but that'll just be a lot of steps. She will not put me out of my comedy job. That's true. But let's see. We have our style check results. So see results. Interesting. So this is what you get. You get, you know, which side most people agree with. You get the percent of the people polled who agree with that. And they say, uh, now, I didn't even know that this was a thing. It actually says what's working in this look. And so it's like these colors look better together. Uh, so that's cool. Um, and I wonder what learn more means if I click learn more. So there's a bunch of dis uh, information about how they decide what looks better. So stuff like shape, is the outline of the clothing flattering? Size, does it fit correctly? 
details do the inner lines of the clothing like neckline draping seams or embellishments complement your shape color do the outfit colors go well together do they look good with your natural coloring how the items are worn complementary pieces and since the trends we tend to keep track of both long and short-term trends in clothing and accessories trends can be fun but they also can be sometimes uh counterintuitive uh you see <laughs> alexa can probably handle multi multiple devices hearing me that's probably true uh it's polling stylists so i think it's a subset of people uh on the amazon sort of network that are deemed fashion forward um and so but the other thing with turtleneck is that style check is not limited to people with the neko look it's anybody who has a prime subscription and wants to send in these photos as far as i know i believe that's true correct me if i'm wrong somebody from the team but um it's like a prime service and part of it's to like, you know, if you order multiple outfits from Amazon and you're trying them on at home, you might not have a salesperson or a friend around to help you decide which one to keep. Uh, and the same is true. Like I have a Stitch Fix coming in a week and I'm this uh, is the top I got from Stitch Fix. And so I will probably use this uh, to maybe get some advice about some pieces and see how that works and try it out that way. A lot of us who are doing home delivery services, this is actually really helpful to get a opinion because sometimes like Dave is not home and I have like a day to evaluate the pieces before and the other thing that's really helpful is the photographic reference when you're like I don't know which of these two outfits I should wear I don't know on stage in front of 1200 Norwegians and Scandinavians you're like you know having neutral outside advice would help a lot it, at least for my peace of mind would have helped me two weeks ago preparing for my latest uh, travel so uh, that, that you might be able to use it, turtleneck. You might be able to use it now. I have to double check on, uh, but I believe the plan was always that it would be available to other people. I'm just not exactly sure, like if it's on the website or or how that happens. But so that's cool. So we have those. Those are the four. Look, we have the little. You know, we have this feed, and it's got some like fashion advice and some cool, like you know, some Instagrammers and stuff. And it's got your feed, and it tracks by month. And then there's style checks that keeps the history of all the style checks. And then there's the camera part. Um, I don't know what this dot is. Oh, I see. So you can also use the app uh, to import stuff from your camera. So if you did take a picture with your camera, you can do that. Oh, use, oh, I see. Use the phone camera instead. So that's interesting. I don't know if you're just away from the Echo Look and you're like at a store and you want to use the photo to like, maybe I want to take a picture in a dressing room and I want to use the app to upload it to style check. Um, uh, you're probably gonna have to wait for the invitation. That's well. I hope you get one, uh, turtleneck. So, well, one thing, and I don't know if we'll be able to hear it, but I could pull her down from here for a second. But uh, so we've got this, and it's still pretty, even though we've run it for a little while. It's still very cool to detach, which is always good. Other things we didn't talk about before. There are four. This is a two by two microphone array, and I don't know if you can really see it with this lighting. But there are two, it's basically two in front and two in back, two little holes for the microphones. Uh, speaker is in back. This is going to be more like the Echo Dot speaker than it is going to be your main Echo speaker. Uh, we discovered, and I did not know this because the old bases didn't do this, I don't think, but there's basically a ball bearing in this, uh, in this base. So I could see how it's rotated forward now so that it works from the height I had it on. Um, so that's all good. There's a lot of thoughtful details guys did a really good job and so this is the uh this is the uh privacy button that goes like that and that shuts both things off so there's a little and so alexa won't respond because the microphone's off and there's also a little indicator here that also shows that uh, we're, in, we're in privacy mode i just uh, uh, she's she's in the other room and she really wants to talk to us right now Maybe just real quick, I will go into the uh, the Alexa app and change the wake word for this because that's getting awkward. She just keeps responding over there. So we go to settings. I assume this is already showing up in my account. And there were other nice things about the experience. There was an automated email that showed up the, when UPS confirmation was received that this was delivered, letting me know what the next step was to uh, setting up the Echo, so, to the Echo Look. So a lot of time was spent uh, working on the end-to-end -end for this. Uh, she does feel left out over there. So we are gonna 
go ahead. We're going to set do not disturb on just forever. We are going to change the wake word. The wake word is going to be echo. Interesting, this one doesn't support computer. <laughs> That's fine. So when you change the wake word, it goes into a setup mode for a second and the little orange lights indicate setup. Uh, and so then you get this little screen on setup. It's like, great. So now the wake word is echo. I had to do this in the settings app or the elect, the, the main Alexa app. So that was a conscious decision not to recreate all the settings in the echo look app and put them like, so instead, we just um, we just put it in together. So Pacific time device location is set to the device the address the device was delivered to. So that's great. So this is all good. But now that I have it set up like this, she does do as far as I know all of the Echo things. So I could be like uh, Echo play Daft Punk. Shuffling songs by Daft Punk from your library. Echo stop. So it did that. Um, and one thing I had added, I didn't get to do as much with the voice UI as I had hoped for like fashion type questions and things like that. I wonder what her response is right now uh, to uh, Echo, what should I wear today? Experiment with mixing patterns and fabrics. So I did put those in. Uh, I, we, I wanted it to be super intelligent, but it wasn't the right time. So there's a list of ideas like conversation starters. So that's probably what you heard. Um, Turtleneck was her recommending wearing like a blazer or something like that. The other thing I had put in as it's, I guess it's kind of an Easter egg now, but I thought it might come up while people were using the device was Echo, what does business casual mean? Business casual essentially means no jeans or sneakers for women. Try a blouse with pants or a skirt. For men, you'll be well dressed in slacks and a collared shirt. Blazers are an option for everyone. So trying to decode, you've got like a wedding invitation or something and you're trying to figure out what the hell does that mean? I figured that would be a question that came up reasonably often while dealing with a device like this. So I went in and uh, researched a bunch of sites that had various uh, dress codes d documented and translated those into uh, put those into Alexa's database so that she could reply with those. So that's a fun thing for you. It probably doesn't account for every dress code, but the, the well-recognized ones on the internet, those are in here as quick reference for you as best you can. So this, that's, 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 the, that's the, that's the echo look. I might actually leave it here for a while because it's not a terrible place for it when the chair is pulled in. I think I need to change how the cord is draping, but, um, well, that's fine to turn like it. It is subjective. I'm just going off of like the Emily's post etiquette. Dis uh, so, and design. It's also a little trickier because design. You said it's for a design competition. I have always found that designers trend a little bit more casual, but also more layered when it comes to stuff like this business casual. <laughs> that specific wording of the question, Jason, I did not implement. Uh, Jason's question was, if the invitation says black tie, does that mean he can only wear a black tie and nothing else? So, uh, and these are always subjective, but for people who don't have an idea, this at least gets them to the general, uh, to, to the general consensus. So that's, that's the echo look. It's a thing. It exists. We made it. We made it. It's real. And yeah, so I'm trying to see if there are any other interesting, this, this is not a full storyboard. We had like, oh, it matches and takes my picture. And then, uh, yeah, those are things. Yeah. So. <laughs> Turtleneck says so it would help because clothing and me mix like Coke and Mentos. <laughs> that sounds dangerous. So, so yeah, um, I'm not showing us this to sell you them because certainly I don't make any money from it. But if you want to buy one, that's great. Um, that's so the other things that came in the box that we didn't look at were the quick start guide, which I maybe cheated and didn't need because hey, I made it. Um, 
it's like hey you should definitely download the app and it's got like a positioning guide like that's where we generally want the height to be somewhere around there and you know there's there's these treat the camera the camera carefully all this stuff not too bad and then there's a little card here where it's like things that you would probably do with it Alexa take a photo Alexa take a video um, set the alarm for 7 a.m. that kind of stuff that you would probably do with the echo look on a regular basis so those were part of the box as well and yeah this is the thing do you guys have any other questions it's real oh. I'll probably get in the habit of like doing pre-stream video if i keep this in this area i might get in the habit of doing pre-stream like promo videos uh if you get a look it comes with the full functionality that an echo does as consider it like getting an echo dot for free because the audio quality is not as good as the full separate echo because a lot of the money you pay goes to the uh, high quality camera and IR instrumentation and the flash and all those things and the development that went into that but uh, it does support all of the typical uh, pro you know if you need it for timers you need it for radio you need it for uh, general question and answer uh, those are all things you can do with it so yeah uh, you do not need to buy uh, uh, you don't need to buy a separate you wouldn't need it to share if you you wouldn't actually necessarily want it to share a room with another echo you could uh, you'd want to set them to different wake words probably uh, Luzeron has a question, which is, does Amazon want to make Alexa into a companion to help, like, the elderly be more independent? And I will say, I can't speak for Amazon officially, I do not work for them anymore, but I will say, if you look at the way that they're marketing the Echo Show, which is another product I worked on, which is the sort of, uh, eight-inch screen paired with an Echo device, that one, its main use case is video messaging. And that, if you look at the way they're marketing it, one of the big things is kind of like keeping you connected to potentially elder parents and family members who might have difficulty operating controls physically. They could just blurt out, like, call, you know, call Cheryl and have it set up to support that. Uh, you can even set up something called drop-in where you don't need someone to pick up the call on the other end, which sounds intrusive, but you need to like both consent to that. And so it's really good for elder care scenarios where you're like, I need to check in on my aunt, my mom and I don't know if she's always going to be okay and or you're going to remember how to operate the device. So you can basically set it up like a walkie-talkie or an intercom, but in different locations. Uh, so that's... <laughs> Uh, little brother, uh, asked go to gamers like, well, every time my technology wants to talk, I assume it's the next phase of Skynet. Well, that's good that your sister, uh, works a lot on voice technology and AI, you're worried about Skynet. It's cool. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, this is, what's the watt draw on the look and can mom Fram have a big enough to <laughs> to carry it in her purse for a while so we had told a story in a previous stream about um how in the very first game i worked on which i have an arm's reach here which is the uh i'm gonna try to nope yep yeah, knocked out everything this is the first game this was i don't consider this my baby because i was just they had already started working on the project when I got there, but this is the first game I ever worked on. This is the first software product I ever worked on that made it to market, uh, technically. It made it to market. I ended up working on PhotoPass at Disney, but that took a much longer time to get to market, so this is the first one to get to market. Uh, and I was an intern on this project, The Sims Making Magic, but this came with the proper instruction manual and it had printed version of the credits. And so bless my mom's heart, she took a version of this and she highlighted my name in it and she took it in her purse for like, I don't know, like a year. And so like she'd get in conversations, be like, yes, I have a daughter, here's her name in the credits for a Sims game. And so that's why Chad is asking whether or not mom Fram can bring this around in her purse. Now we very distinct, we very intentionally did not make this a battery charge device because you notice there was sort of a configuration step where I needed to get the camera positioned uh, and I'll probably have to do that. Hopefully won't have to do that again so much, but uh, get it positioned so it fit my whole uh, whole body in there. And so we didn't want people to have to pick up the device and go recharge it and then have to recalibrate the camera all the time. We very much wanted this to be easy to use every day, low friction. And so we felt like plugging it in was the best way to go. Uh, so that is what, and then if there was demand for the battery operated version, maybe later, I don't know. 
Uh, so that's yeah. <laughs> Skynet became uh, so Jason in there is Becklin in there is making some uh, some dark predictions about the future. Skynet became self aware. They hated how we were dressed. That's when the war began. <laughs> what do you mean we'll create Skynet, Kralin? How do you know I haven't already done it? This is, you know, that's, that's the things. Uh, so, but I'm trying to make it ethical. Those are things. And, you know, that's part one of the messages of my talk in Oslo. It was like, we should make all this as inclusive as possible. And we should ask, be asking important questions about how technology and voice technology affects us emotionally. Uh, <laughs> gave me tips. We don't know who struck first, us or them, but we know it was us that scorched the closets. <laughs> so, this is the thing that happened, you guys. It's real. Now I need to decide where it lives permanently. I don't hate the hallway. I might try to, like, keep it in here for a while. It might make it a little awkward at streams, and then I will just mute it. Um, but this this is not a terrible place. I have some room to like move around and it's less likely to be messy like my room is. Uh, so that's, that's, yeah. Yeah, I'm not supposed to talk about Skynet on shift features. <gasps> Shit! Oh God! <laughs> uh, I, I look very fondly on the early days of working on this product with, with you and Robert and uh, with Jack. And with Maggie and with every and with Eva and with all the folks like there was you know regardless of what happened later th those were some really good times and such an honor and a once a lifetime opportunity to work on something as unique and quirky and moonshot as this I mean in in what is largely a male dominated company still running around being like we want to make the clueless closet <laughs> there were so many times where they could have canceled this and been like why would people want that? And I think the tech, you know, the, the, the tech bloggers are still trying to get their head around this, but we spend a lot of time talking to customers and we genuinely believe that there was a, there was a use case for this product. And now with the style check, even more so. We just wanted, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. We just wanted to help people, uh, help people, make the most of their interest in fashion and help make it easier to make daily choices. Because it turns out for a lot of people, the daily, like, especially if you're going to work, choosing what you're going to wear can be very stressful. Having something that helps. Um, and if you have, if you live in a small apartment, you live in an urban area, this may be the only way you can see all your clothes at once. Um, so it's, it, and Carolyn's like, I, I don't want it, but I 100% understand that people would. So, yeah. Yes, as Shirley and Emily and Amy and Virginia guess. Oh, Sherry especially, yes. Uh, there's so many great people over at Lab One Twenty Six and over at uh, at Amazon. And Linda Rands came on afterwards. And um, can you? <laughs> oh, there's some nerdy. See, Jason, that's exactly it. So Jason Backlund says, "Truth, I live in NYC. Do not own full length mirror. We visited a lot of people in New York City, and that was." a big problem. There were tons of fashion engaged people who were like, I can't see my back ever because I don't have a three way mirror and I don't even have a full length mirror. And how the hell am I supposed to like see whether I've got something tucked in? And this is essentially a three way mirror plus plus with the 360 video, you can get all of that. And it sounds like not a lot, but when you're trying to look your best for something important, uh, it was a big stress point for people. And you know how much a three way mirror costs? We looked into it more than this <laughs> and it takes up more space and is way more prone to shattering and uh does not tell you helpful things so yeah why would you it does not play music for you a three-way mirror so that's um eternal next is you love hate your mirror because you can't see your face so that's whether or not that's a bug or a feature i leave to you but uh that's and some folks i think may actually position this so their face is not included we certainly had people we talked to who are like, I don't know if I want me in it, but I definitely want my clothes in it. And that's fine. And doesn't tell bad jokes. Although I still think one of, and I hope she does the right one. Alexa, oh, I forgot this is her name. Echo, where's Ray? Ray is mastering the force for the power of good. That's not the response I wanted. Echo, where's Ray? 
damn it, she's gonna say the same thing for a while till she cools off. There's another response which is better, which is Ray is in a galaxy far, far away from a toy store. I, I like when that that happens the first time I heard her say that and often for specific requests sometimes she'll have more than one alternative uh, and that's not specific to the look most of the things that Alexa says uh, work on any Alexa device but uh, that one I walked into work the next day I was like who's my best friend who put the scathing gender humor into the into the, the device who did that <laughs> I try again I'm gonna try one more time I tried to get this to work on that interview video they did with me uh, and it never, it, she always wants to do the mastering the force. So I'm like, that's not the one I wanted. Echo, where's Ray? Ray is in a galaxy far, far away, getting ready for her next movie. No, they changed it. Why did you do that, Michelle? Why did you change it? It was better before it was better. Oh, sad panda. Sad panda. I don't have to. Somebody should make it back the way it was before. No! No! This is my Luke moment. Uh, could, in theory, could it blur your face? I don't think... I think they spent a lot of time trying to make it not do that because a lot of women, their hair is part of their hairstyle. Uh, so I think if you don't want your face in the photos, the best thing to do is to position it. Uh, that's true, Jay Specklin. Three-way mirrors do not disappoint you like that. That is a risk. If, you're, if your three-way mirror can't make you happy, it also can't disappoint you. You're not as vulnerable. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, if you didn't want your face, I would say just position it so that your face doesn't typically show up in the shots. Uh, if you wanted your face blurred, you'd probably have to manually edit the files somehow. Maybe that's a feature request you could put into Amazon, especially if you buy it. They'll probably listen to you more if you bought the thing. But, um... That's that's a good question. And the fun, the interesting thing is you don't, I mean, this, we found out pretty quickly that not everybody's going to want to share these photos pub publicly, and that's fine. That's totally fine. Most people actually, especially if they're not sure about themselves, are actually going to share it with maybe one or two trusted people over text message or something. They're not necessarily going to, like, broadcast everything they take to Twitter. And there's actually no way right now to share the full feed. That's a private thing you keep. So you can choose when other people look at stuff, but you don't, um, you don't have to share it all the time. So, yeah. Or you could just be a Vulcan. That's fine. To, yeah. I, I don't exactly know what that's in reference to, but you could, uh, you can always try and be a Vulcan turtleneck. So, well, this, this was spent an hour hanging out. First of all, I don't even know if you guys are still in chat, but, uh, it means a lot that you came to hang out, uh. Uh, Way and uh, Jack Way and uh, Robert Zayner, you guys are great, and yeah, uh, this this is this is really special. <laughs> so yeah, uh, bonus stream. Is there any functionality overlap with cosplay or uh, Halloween costumes? You assume not. There's no reason you can't use it for cosplay. Like you can take as many photos the day as you want, uh, and videos. And so yeah, like uh, you can take picture great head to toe photos of your uh, costumes. And I know that uh, Random Tuesday wanted it just specifically for that purpose. Uh, it's amazing how hard it is if you don't have, like, a setup to get a reasonable head-to-toe photo. Now, that doesn't preclude, like, full-on, you know, photo shoots in other places. But it's for, for like, regular photos or for, like, in-progress photos and stuff. It's probably a great idea. You could use it to take photos of, your of like, if you had a, a, a wardrobe form you could use it to take in progress photos do like a stop motion kind of thing other emergent uses that people talk to us about uh pregnancy documenting pregnancy documenting weight loss or gain like fitness that kind of thing especially if the camera's in a fixed place every day and you find a way to kind of find your mark every day uh you know you, you end up with kind of like a time lapse of positive change uh hopefully so that's that's a cool uh, emergent use for this. And there's no reason you can't. All you need, it's just your choice and how you use it once you have it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Start seeing. I'll try that later. I'll uh, I'll take a photo of Sprinkles and Mo on Sunday, and uh, dur you know before or during our weekly stream and see which one Style Check prefers. That way, uh, Sprinkles and Mo can react on camera uh, once we get the feed. Uh, does it do actual time lapse? Lapse photos to document head to toe lycanthropy transformations. Not yet. Again, I think that's maybe a request that you should make. You could certainly download all the photos and push them into something that does GIFs and then do it that way. 
Uh, but does it do it in app? No, not necessarily. Um, maybe it should. I mean, I, I, I can't speak to how many folks in the Muppet Mafia are in fact lycanthropic. Uh, so it, we, it was not something that came up often in user testing. So yeah, it may just be an untapped market that we don't realize. And I say we, but I don't work on the team. Um, can you do it in six seconds? Yeah. So, I mean, if you can transform lycanthropically, which is basically a, to be a werewolf, in six seconds, then you can take the video. And that's pretty cool. You just have to make sure that if you're doing the voice activation, you do that before your voice starts changing. Because I'm fairly certain that they did not do the natural language processing modeling with werewolf voices. So your success rates would probably be low. Uh, just FYI. Uh, sensitive question to ask you. But it is near Halloween, so it seems more fair of a question than, than normally. That's that's true. So this has been fun. Thank you guys for hanging out on uh it's if there's I think since some folks joined us after we did the initial photo, I'll do one more round uh so folks can see how the things work and stuff. Um so so we get just just the full full experience. Oh, my phone's doing this weird thing it was doing before. Here, uh, so I'm I'm on almost year two of this this phone, and uh, and for those who missed, you should go to Twitter because the first photo we took, my expression is amazing. I'm really happy with that. But we're gonna. So what happens is we got the app, and I pick camera, and you get a live preview of whatever the camera sees. Uh, normally, it's not as disco crazy. See, look, you can see yourselves, guys. You can see chat. It's it's, it's streamception. Uh, so we're going to put this down again, back where it was working last time in the middle of the shrine of video games and devices I've worked on. Uh, thank you for the resub, Vasco the Gamer. The physical manifestation of all your hard work. I hope you continue to get much enjoyment from its smiley face. Thank you. I probably will. I have missed this device. At first, when I started working on it, it was like, am I contributing to the downfall of America? But I actually don't believe that I am. It's, uh, it does, yeah, the video uh, rate is good. No, no, this is gonna be bad. We're gonna put that there. That's gonna be the one thing if I keep it here is the chair is gonna be in the way. But I could put it over here and that would work fine. Uh, so, we should, we took a picture with sprinkles. Well, actually we didn't take a picture with sprinkles. We took a video with sprinkles. And if you're just tuning in for the first time, I do puppetry on Sundays in addition to playing games and sprinkles and Mo are my puppets. Uh, you may have met sprinkles earlier. Hi, I'm, hi, I'm Mo and I'm just so delighted to be here on this historic occasion. Uh, we're just gonna take a quick picture. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> so let's zoom. That looks about right. And so we're gonna say, Echo, take a photo. And we'll see how that worked. Mo, you need to work on your smile a little bit there. Uh, so that's what we got. And the uh, background mover worked much better this time because I wasn't moving so much. Uh, and it put, uh, uh, there's more stuff. <laughs> so the old app keeps sending me my notifications. <laughs> la, 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 la. Um, uh, that's, but that works out pretty well too. We're going to favorite that one. Again, this is maybe not my most fashion forward outfit that I would have chosen. Although, uh, real talk, uh, you know, I am still dealing with new ovarian tumors. So I'm optimizing more for comfort than fashion forwardness at this point. Uh, uh, Mo, you like dancing. You probably want to be in a video. So let's do that, huh? That's that's a thing we can do. Echo, take a video. I know this is fun. Ah, there we go. I keep forgetting there's audio. So there we go. I keep forgetting because originally there was not going to be audio on these. And so I don't, uh, there's, you, you know, <laughs> it is. So you can actually use these as little mini video diaries. Uh, my surgery is not until December. So let me tell you, I do not recommend 10 hours of flying one way 
if you have ovarian tumors or cysts. It's not favorite. It's just not. But so now we have that video. Oh, Jack, I missed you guys too. Ah, oh, life is tough. I really liked working with you guys on this stuff. It was very hard. Uh, it was yeah, everything was complicated, but I was. It was such an honor to be working on this stuff. I need to take a still photo with sprinkles or she'll never forgive me. Yeah, I'm the star of this show and I don't know why I've not been on screen for so long. Thank you for showing up. I just, it, it, I'm honored that you guys would care about uh, my reaction to it after all this time. I definitely miss you guys. Uh, so sprinkles, do you want to do the honors? Echo, take a photo. think you're gonna be moving there that one did not work you're gonna have to do that again sprinkles that did not work because she won't stand still it says motion may cause pop to be inaccurate you know what that means sprinkles it means that uh you did it poorly ah, delete this yes we'll just go ahead and try it one more time and this time pose better fine fine i will do better this time fine echo Take a photo. Let's see if that works. That is much better. See, that looks like your icon a little bit there. There you go. She looks great, doesn't she? Ah. Uh, it means a lot to hear you say that, Robert. I I am so very proud of being part of the Echo Look family. And you know I'm gonna be dressing better again because you know how this device affects people's uh, it, people's fashion decisions. Once you start seeing how things look, you're like, oh no, that's never happening again. <laughs> so, so, yeah. <sighs> All right, <laughs> now fashion check them. Okay, fine. We will do that. I hope I didn't get blacklisted. Robert, Jack, Jack, do I get blacklisted if I send two pictures of puppets to style check? Um, so I'm going to go and uh, add photo to compare. So this is what I'm sending them, is this, because chat wants it that way, and they have been good supporters of the Muppet Mafia. Uh, so which outfit looks better on me? <laughs> already abusing technology yep uh we'll notify you when results are ready so do 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 we're gonna do it again on sunday though because this will be a fun uh i'm not i'm not gonna go into the full puppetry and have them react right now because that's not what we were doing but uh yeah it's maybe i'll never hear back maybe they'll just be like um, hey, this... we could not complete your style check. Oh. Make sure you are wearing different outfits in each image. That's interesting. So, maybe there's not humans doing this now. Maybe it's doing automatic already. I don't know. That's interesting we'll try again on sunday and i will have been wearing a different outfit with sprinkles and we'll see uh whether or not puppets aren't outfits what this feature request <laughs> so we'll find out sunday uh when i'm wearing a different outfit with sprinkles they'll actually be reviewing the outfits but we'll see uh we'll, we'll see how the results come in they are, they are accessories. They are. Um, we'll just have to see. We, we will have to see it. I don't have control over Alex anymore, so I can't put a dress code clarification on puppet casual or anything like that. They should be outfits. Yeah, and what about Sprinkles outfit? If I put Sprinkles in two different, because she has dresses and shit. I don't, I don't know, guys. This is, this is a use case we didn't fully consider, and I'll fully admit that as the first designer on the product. I just did not fully consider the implications of puppet couture when it came to the product. So, thank you guys so much. I think we're going to wrap up for today. Uh, there might be other bonus streams this week. 
uh, depending on, oh, <laughs> oh hello, Stuxer. Thanks for stopping in and saying hi. Uh, yes, us Deckers got to stick together. I'm glad you're having a good time with Corporate Sins. It's nice to hear that even though that show has wrapped up, it is still bringing joy to people. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe it's when Skynet starts. It's there. Puppets are not supported. Uh, Echo, look, available now. Asterisk, puppets are not supported at launch. Thank you, guys. Uh, streams, we will have Shadowrun Sunday, this Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, we're wrapping up maybe one or two episodes to go on the main story in uh, Hairbrain Schemes, uh, Shadowrun Hong Kong. And uh, after that, who knows, all bets are off. So we'll probably talk a little bit more about the Echo Look for folks who didn't get to join me for the, uh, for the, for, it's not, it's, it's, it's not the live play. But before then, make sure you tune in on Geek Space TV on Wednesday, 7 p.m. Pacific. I'm back as Hexy Kate, the psionic entertainer on our uh, Stars Without Number, basically a st space opera live play RPG. And it's a great cast, it's a great show, and you should totally tune in because we only have a few more episodes left of season one. And whether or not there will be a season two is, is an open question. Whether or not I can be in, in season two if it exists is another open question because I have surgery looming in December. So don't miss your chance to see those episodes live. Um, yes. So. Thank you, uh, Krellen, for being awesome, Mod, and pulling up those, those, <laughs> those things. Oh God, I wish Sweetums could run in and be part, uh, try to take photos with the Echo Look. There's so many marketing opportunities, you guys. Yes, Leviathan Distant Stars. Uh, I did not mention the name of the show. The show is Leviathan Distant Stars. Sun, uh, uh, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Pacific. It's 10 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, yes. Oh, you missed Hexy last week. I missed Hexy too. I, it was a really good time in Oslo, but I'm glad to be back. Uh, and I'm glad to, the, the, and we'll, we'll talk more about Oslo on Sunday. So if you want to ask live questions about that, uh, also hit up my Twitter. If you want to see a link to the video of the talk I did last Friday, that is already up on the Bebdagana website, which you probably don't know how to spell for me saying it because it's Norwegian. So you should check out my Twitter. Um, I may retweet that link later this week. The 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 the, uh, the normal uh, end of stream informationals, but so I will see most of you guys on Wednesday at seven Pacific for uh for Leviathan Distant Stars. If you can't join us live, replays are free. Just check check out the videos on demand on YouTube or uh on Twitch over at Geek Space TV. So thank you guys. Thank you especially to the Echo Look team members who joined. Uh, it means so much to me, but also so great to have. The Muppet Mafia here on an unannounced stream night uh, made my my day, and I'm glad I got to share this very important life moment with you. And thank you for all the all the warm thoughts and congratulations. And yeah, uh, thank you guys. Have a lovely evening, morning, time of day two, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you later this week. I hope.